Hi, this is The Hobbies. Thanks for being here. I'm going to do swatches of this half pan set, different colors that just came in yesterday and this one about a week ago. This is my favorite. This is the Aussie Red Gold. I'm going to transfer this in the half pans, one of the half pans later. But I just want to see how these new colors um, would do when I do the swatches, test them out. These are personal pick. It doesn't belong to any particular set. And now I think I'm that in that stage where I'm trying to build my own palette. Um, earlier I have done the Daniel Smith, um, this one, the set of six colors of inspiration. You can check out my video in that one. But for now, this one is my print personal pick. Right? So let's start it. I'm speeding up the video to times four and I'm using my Raphael number two round brush, um, mini brush. So the first three colors are Mayan red, Mayan yellow, and Mayan dark blue. These are inspired by the beautiful murals and sculpture of the Mayan people and Daniel Smith is trying to recreate those colors um, using an eco-friendly process and derived from ancient Mayan chemistry. I really love those three colors. And this next one is the Rhodonite Genuine and this is from their Primatech series. Next is the new Gambo. I love the vibrancy of this color and the cobalt teal blue as well. Followed by the Rose Matter Permanent that is looking more like Rhodonite. But we'll see how it dries up. And my favorite, Aussie Red Gold. Lastly, we have the spring green. Colors look so yummy. Now I'm just gonna wait for this to dry up and then do the lifting test. So as you can see here, it's very easy to lift even though some of the colors are rated too, which is slightly staining. It's just easy peasy. So from this personal pick from Daniel Smith, um, my favorite would be, as I said earlier, Aussie Red Gold. Um, even though there are three pigments in it, because I love the magical effect that once you activate it with water and it starts to disperse, and as you can see from here, it appears like a flame. And I really love that one. And the second one would be the Cobalt Teal Blue. I can see this, um, that... I'll probably use this um, in painting water um, and it's very liftable so it will be very useful as well. I love the spring green because um, it's also good in creating lighter shades for trees. And all these colors that you see here are non-granulating except for cobalt teal blue. Now it seems that rhodonite and the rose madder kind of like looking the same, almost the same, although I can see from here that this one has a bit of, I think, um, bluish tinge and almost look the same. However, this one, Rhodonite, is from their Primatech uh, collection, which means that it's only one pigment coming from uh, stone, which is Rhodonite. Um, and I think uh, the pigment is more probably, even though these are all rated with excellent and very good light fast rating, um, when mixing it with other colors to avoid muddiness, I would still prefer to use Rhodonite than um, Rose Matter Permanent. This one has three colors in it, right? Although this seemed to be more. Um, vibrant and this looks duller um, but yeah and I'm really excited to use this three mindset red yellow and blue 
as my primaries for creating skin tones but that would have to be in another video right so this is my current additions to daniel smith and thank you for watching